about the more eco sustainable options. Uh, well, at Intercontinental Chennai, we decided why just straw? We, we really started thinking about it, and mostly because this project is very, very close to the general manager, Mr. Anand Nair. So, there are a lot of initiatives in this year that we had taken, including the one that you see right now. And I would like, on that note, I would like to call upon uh, Mr. Anand Nair, our general manager, to come and speak about uh, the initiative. Welcome to the Intercontinental Group. Thank you so much for being here today evening, joining us for this uh, special entry lighting ceremony. As Arohi was saying that uh, we as IAG, as an organization, as a corporation, we have taken a lot of measures, we have taken a lot of steps this year, in 2019 itself, to move towards a more eco-friendly nature of doing business. So first and foremost, what we did was that we completely banned plastic straws, single-use straws, the totally was stopped, and we moved entirely to uh, paper straws, uh, which are used as in all our restaurants as of today. In, but we just didn't stop with that. Uh, one of the biggest menaces that we face <coughs> is in terms of single-use plastic bottles. So we have started the journey by introducing glass bottles. We have uh, introduced glass bottles in our restaurants to uh, quite a few uh, areas in terms of our uh, meeting spaces and banquet spaces. And we are slowly and surely in the process of moving entirely from plastic bottles to uh, glass bottles that will be placed in all our restaurants as well as all our rooms. So that's the journey that we will continue into 2020. We are not only looking at uh, finding of plastic, but also in terms of energy conservation, water conservation. Across the resort, we move steadily from halogens to LEDs, thereby reducing a lot of energy conservation. All our water sources everywhere, we have introduced aerators which actually bring down the consumption by to almost one third. So if, for example, a tap is designed to um, have an outflow of about 36 litres per minute, we brought it down to about 11 litres a minute, which effectively brings down uh, a lot of wastage of water across all our uh, outlets as well as all our rooms. Continuing with this journey, we have gone on to do multiple things across the resort, including um, creating um, a butterfly garden for our uh, guests to enjoy. We have also worked extensively in terms of uh, uh, upcycling, uh, in a way, for example, this spot that you see here, as well as, for example, this ash tree that we've created, these are all being created from our uh, dis discarded towels that have been used in our guest rooms. So we are reconverting, or realigning, re reassigning, and upcycling these kind of discarded towels to create pots, like the one that you see there, with the planter box in it and you know, uh, ashtrays and pieces that can be used as center pieces on the tables, etc. So there's a lot of work, a lot of thought that is being put into uh, you know, this, uh, making it a conscious effort. So we thought, ending the year 2019, it would be a good idea to create a Christmas tree which would be in line with those efforts, in line with the concept that we have been working on. And the team brainstormed and came up with this idea of creating uh, a coconut Christmas Tree. Now, why coconut, you may ask, but the fact is, you know, for people who don't know, coconut is one of the most eco-friendly and sustainable uh, products in nature. Every single part of the coconut tree, as well as the coconut, is utilized for making multiple things. For example, the husk of the coconut is taken out and it's dried and then used for making coir products. The inside shell, you know, uh, from the meat inside is used for various forms of cooking. It's also used for making coconut oil. The shells are used for multiple products in terms of creating artifacts and so many other things that are used and uh, reused in multiple facets of our life. So that uh, is one of the primary reasons why we decided to come up with the, the coconut uh, Christmas tree for this uh, year 2019 and bringing this year to a close. To take on uh, the rest of the, to bring in the rest of the festivities I would want like to invite Arohi to give us a brief. Thank you. So, uh, first and foremost, uh, food round the uh, with Times of India, and she's a brand uh, host of uh, Gourmet Passport now. She travels uh, extensively and she takes a piece of Chennai with her every time she travels and really respected across all markets. So, internationally, also during her trips, she make, makes it a point that she spends some time with the chefs and she's invited her in a lot of restaurants to advise and consult 
on uh, how could, uh, what are the trends and how could a chef uh, add a little bit of uh, chili and uh, international be aligned with the food trends. So on that note, I would like to invite over Ms. Anita Ali Mutri here with us and uh, she is a special guest of honor and hear from her that what exactly is the industry doing at this point in time uh, with chefs and food on ecosystemability. Um, thank you, Anuri, and thank you, Mr. Nayar, for having me over. It is, of course, my honor and pleasure to be here this evening and see this beautiful coconut Christmas tree. I mean, like, whoever imagined one would see something like this. I'm sure I didn't. On my way here, I was wondering, what will they do? Like, will they use plastic bottles or what would, you know, what would the whole idea be? I never once thought of coconut husks or coconut coconuts actually making a tree. So I'd like to congratulate the whole uh, engineering team who came up with this brilliant idea of merging India with the Western world, mainly South India, which is my favorite place on earth, with the rest of the world and showing them that yes, coconuts can be made into a Christmas tree as well. We don't need conifers to make them, we have our coconuts. So, um, like Mr. Naya pointed out, that uh, the coconut is known as the, it's known as the Kalpa, Kalpa Riksha. The coconut palm is known as the Kalpa Riksha because every bit of the coconut palm and its fruit is utilized. That's why we use coconuts during our pujas and, you know, our holy and uh, religious occasions. And now it's, it's made into a Christmas tree, so what better way? And uh, going on to what Arohi said about, you know, sustainability, eco-sustainability in the kitchen. That's where it all begins actually. In fact, in our very own Chennai, there is a restaurant which uses the, uh, which uses the banana leaf as a straw. They roll it up and they use it as a straw. And, uh, you know, I was very impressed with that. And another place I went to, this was in Delhi, they had made the, the starter snacks out of wasted food, like uh, potato peels and things like that. So, you know, it really is a movement that's catching on in a big way, not just, not just internationally, it's, it's happening in India at the very basic level, which is where it really should be. Because we as Indians actually have a culture of being, a tradition of being eco-sustainable, you know. We, we were brought up never to waste anything. We were brought up to, you know, carry our own bags to the market when we went shopping. And then the plastic bags and all came along and, you know, for convenience sake, we abandoned that. But we're going back to it again, which I think is a, is a good thing. And uh, I want to congratulate um, Arshi, Mr. Arshi, are you here? Yeah, I want to congratulate you on this lovely, lovely tree here. Congratulations. 